take a look at area of a triangle. So the formula for the area of a triangle with base B and corresponding H height is right here. So we have area equals one half times the base times the height. And let's look at the Y really quick. So the area of a rectangle equals the product of its base and its length of its base length and its height. Sorry, I said that funny. So that's another way we were just talking about that in the last one, length times width. You can also change that to base and height. A lot of the time we use base and height in these formulas. Um, if I cut that in half though, if I draw a diagonal from one corner to the opposite corner, what do we notice? Well, hopefully we notice that it created two congruent triangles or it just cut it in half, right? So that's why it comes directly from a rectangle. If I have base times height for a rectangle, well, if I chop it in half, it's half times base times height, right? So it cuts a rectangle in half. That's where this formula came from. So now if we look at a problem from Alex, find the area of the triangle below. Be sure to include the correct unit in your answer. So they're not going to include it for you. You have to make sure you click on the correct unit. Um, and it'll all be centimeters, but there'll be one centimeters. There'll be a centimeter squared, centimeter cubed. You need to make sure that you click on the correct one. Um, so with this one, they're giving us more information than is needed. Okay, so the base and height are perpendicular. So we want to find that perpendicular, and those are the two pieces we want to use. So here's my base, and here's my height. So you can see as I'm identifying them, I'm plugging them into the formula here. So we have area equals 1 half, that stay the same, but base is 14 and h is 4. The 9 is extra information, I'm not going to use that, because that's not a base or height. That's just extra information to see if you know what to do with it. So now we're going to multiply. 14 times 4 gives me 56. And now I'm going to divide that in half. Half of 56 is 28. So this is 28 centimeters squared. So if it's just a length, like perimeter, it would just be centimeters. If it's an area, it's going to be centimeters squared. If it's a volume, which we haven't quite dealt with yet, that'll be centimeters cubed. So you just want to make sure you're choosing the correct unit. That's what they mean um, up here in the directions. All right, so that was um, area, perimeter of a square, and area of a triangle. I hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.